Peace, y'all. What it was, is, and will be. You know what it is. You know where you're at. It's the hip hop Sunday, Urban Mo, in the temple. Your favorite influencer's favorite influencer. You want to join me here? Then all you got to do is hit the subscribe button, like, unlike, leave a comment, but hit the button, become a part of the family. You become a subscriber. You become a monk, and if you have any requests, suggestions, or information regarding any other groups that we review, and all you got to do is hit us up at templeofthemonk at gmail.com. That's monk with the Q, templeofthemonk, gmail.com. Don't forget the Q, and please don't forget, sign up for the Discord. Go in there, make yourself a profile, join the live listening parties, and the discussions, man. BTS, my city, color-colored lyrics, and the performance. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. Got job, man. Got job. What's up? What's up? This is Ben Kid Exclusive. <laughs> and the coolest kid in the world. Woo! BTS. I rap monster.
Thanks for watching. Thanks. I like. I'm gonna give my. I'm gonna give my thoughts again at the end. I'm gonna give my thoughts again at the end. Let's check out the. Um, duga, duga, duga. There's a. Uh, uh, a there, actually, there's two performances. There's a live, an older one, and a newer live. So um, we'll check it out. I'm, I'm told it's worth it. So we're gonna check it out. You guys ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> Oh, they got the lyrics on here too. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what's accurate, what's not. It's it's good to get, it's good to get a different view just in case, just in case. Look at the Ajamas in there. I saw that lady like, look at. You see her? Chilling. Hey, these, man, these people love BTS. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That was dope. I like that. I always like to watch them. I, well, I like to watch in any any group, especially when I know they're having a good time. Big Bang is another one I like to watch. Also in concert, man. A lot of these, a lot of these groups just have so much fun, man. That they make you wish not only that you were there, but you were on stage with them. That's how I always, I always never mind being in a crowd. I just want to be on stage with them, just jumping around. I don't even need a mic. Just let me jump around with them, man, because they look like they're having uh so much fun man so this is a dope joint i like the vibe of it gives me kind of like a new version of an old 80s style track that's that's how i see it that's how i see it and um it fits you know the whole thing representing their cities as they do and represent where they come from and giving that pride back out to the people man so they know that they haven't been forgotten I think is a must, especially when you're at this scale. And this is way, this is back. <laughs> this is back a while. So, you know, I could just imagine. It was cool seeing, I, one thing I can always say is I always love seeing the age range in the audience like this. Like, it's not like, oh, it's broken down. Well, this is for this school and this is for this school. And, you know, this generation, then this generation, and they can't intertwine and, on this it's not there's no there's no gray area it's there's no black and white there's just it's just color you know what i mean and the age range and there's always not even just impressive but very very appreciated it's appreciated man it goes to show you what kind of work that these guys put in and what kind of messages they send out and you know can't be denied in any case man we're going to check out the the at the newer one which I'm going to be excited to see because that's their older one. This is a, I don't know when that one was. Let's just say 2016. Yeah, let's just say 2016. And this one is four years after the fact, after that. So we're going to check this joint out as, uh, as well, if it pops up. <laughs> so distracted by 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 the the robes <laughs> and i think i've seen this before i i think i've seen rm at least with that robe he's had on before or at least some something very uh close to it Oh, the 
Voice flow, dude. Ah. I'm, I get mesmerized into the performance. <laughs> so if you don't see me dancing, I'm just like, uh. I watch several concerts from these guys, Big Bang, Shiny, EXO, all of these groups. And like, I always think, man, if that was me, I'd have had fallen off the stage several times. My eyesight sucks. And these guys are running across like the dark stage and just like, I'm like, oh my God. Don't. And I've seen clips of like some of these guys falling, I believe on EXO a couple of times. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but they fell off. It might've been Tao or Kai, um, uh, BTS, same thing. I know numerous idols have been hurt from falling off the stages uh, when you got these drop-offs. And I think one of them, uh, maybe EXO it was, um, actually fell through the, the um the, and it's I mean it's high if you fall of course maybe I'd say maybe about six feet maybe more I don't know um but yeah it, it's crazy it, it it's crazy man but they do a great job and I know they do a lot of rehearsals to avoid a lot of injuries and make sure they're safe so that's cool the, the of course you guys know how I feel about uh, the raps and everything but. <laughs> Somebody, I wanted to bring this up, man. Somebody asked me to talk about this one time uh, regarding RM, and I am going to get into some more RM stuff. We're going in line from oldest to newest. That's why you see it in a certain order. But regarding RM, and somebody had talked about RM flow, ja flow jacking. Okay. Apparently, I guess this is when somebody steals somebody else's flow. It's called flow jacking. I don't know what that means and it doesn't make any kind of sense whatsoever. This isn't the side with BTS. This is the side with anybody. Flow jacking is an impossible statement to make in rap. Impossible statement. There is, if that's the case, everybody is a flow jacker. Everybody. You can't jack a flow. You can bite, you can bite lyrics. That happens. But jacking a flow is impossible to do. 
only few, there are a few people that I can think of who was able to make a flow that is in, in, in this, I mean, distinctively theirs and no one else is done. Sometimes in, in one case that I can think that I can think of during the 80s in one, actually two that come to mind first fold. I'm sure there are others, but I'm going to name two, two. Sorry, I said one, two. Rock him and Slick Rick, uh, excuse me, the Dougie. Uh, yeah, Slick Rick and Slick Rick. If you live Slick Rick, if I'm correct, if I can remember this correctly, because the brain doesn't always fashioned out the way it's supposed to be. It kind of scrambles things up. Slick Rick was part of a, a group called the Gucci Boys, I think, or something, something like that. But it was him, Dana Dane and um, Gucci Man. Not Gucci Mane, not the one you guys know, the new, new, not the new school Gucci Mane. There was a Gucci Man, had a song, Gucci Man, Gu, Gu, Gucci Man. And if you look at all three of them, they all wore the Kango, they had the, the, the debonair suits, they had the ballet shoes or the British walkers or the clocks on with the cane, all of that. It was three of them and they had that very style, once upon a time, not long. You know what I mean? That, that very debonair, when everybody else was doing whatever they were doing at that time, Slick Rick stood out. When Rakim came out, very distinctive style that could not be mistaken and could not be taken, period. I said this before, only one person that I can remember bit that style and got away with it, and that was Fresh Prince when he did Summertime. Other than that, I can't remember anybody else who had tried to take that style and got away with it because the style was so distinctive that even if anybody had tried to take it, everybody knew where it came from. Everybody knew where it came from. So there was a, I guess there was an issue regarding RM taking, flow jacking a style from Kendrick Lamar. Now, if you don't know any better, then yeah, you would say something like that. And it's actually, it's a stupid statement to make. It's, it's dumb. Um, regarding that flow oh well because Kendrick Lamar's style is a west coast style it has been done before not to discredit Kendrick Lamar because I love Kendrick Lamar I think he's a dope MC that has kept the west coast in the reins where they belong because west coast has some very dope artists that are slick but if you want to talk about flows in the west coast that are distinctive E40 is one Yuck Mouth is another Keek the Sneak is another um let me see. I, I can't think of many. Oh, Freestyle Fellowship might be another group, another group coming out of the West Coast. Um, who else that I can think of from the West Coast? Those styles that I can think of from the West Coast, very distinctive. Like on that, like I said, Rock Him, Slick Rick type level where you know that style, if somebody else did it, you know where it came from. Kendrick Lamar's style is a West Coast style that a lot of artists that have done. The only thing that would probably make Kendrick Lamar's style more distinctive than, say, the other style that you heard or think you might not or think that is Kendrick Lamar's is the fact that Kendrick Lamar, the delivery, the flows are all the same, but the delivery, how you deliver that flow is important. Kendrick Lamar, you know when Kendrick Lamar raps, you know who Kendrick Lamar is because Kendrick Lamar has a special delivery to how he does that flow. But that's a West Coast style flow. It's been done before. It's just Kendrick Lamar flipped it in a whole different level. So when people say, oh, well, you know, RM flow jacked that from Kendrick Lamar. Well, then that means Kendrick Lamar flow jacked it from several people on the West Coast. So now what? <laughs> when, when people need to really think, sometimes people just say stuff. And I think a lot of this stuff comes from, well, people don't like RM or people don't like this rapper or people don't like this rapper. And so they conjure up these excuses to say, well, I don't like them because they stole the style from my favorite artist. And that's why I don't like that artist because he stole them. That's what it sounds like. If you really listen, that's what it pretty much sounds like. Now, in this day and age where literally the flows are the same on every single song you hear on the radio, with maybe the exception of a few, say, but let, let's say a, a perfect example would be say Drake. Drake is an, an ex, ex, exceptional MC. He's dope. Okay, I don't like the newer stuff he's doing. 
I don't, it doesn't grab me like it did when he was first coming out with the wordplay. The wordplay is a little more watered down. I said the same thing about Jay-Z. Jay-Z, when Jay-Z came out with all his albums, Jay-Z had a particular delivery and a style that I loved. And then as he came on, when he did this newest joint with, with uh, Beyonce, with his wife, I thought it was dope. It kind of took me back to the Jay-Z, like being clever and something like that. And that, I mean, whether you're clever or not clever, it's okay. It, it, to, to each his own, how you want to do it. You know what you're doing. That the MCs who are MCs know what they're doing. And they sometimes, if they want to go hard, they can go hard. And if they want to slow it down and soften it up, that's perfectly fine. But this whole thing with people's ideas of the flow jacking and the biting, I can't remember who it was in hip hop. And I believe it was a B-boy that said, everybody bites. Everybody bites off of somebody. There are very few people who don't do it. And you see like in B-boys, they do this thing right here, which means biting. Um... It, it, in b-boy in b-boy culture everybody bites it just how you flip the move is dip. same thing with rap how you flip the style how you deliver the style could determine whether or not it's you know like oh you know but in 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 the case of say people like r m and there are many paying homage there's a difference between paying homage and flow jacking. And I think people like to pick and choose when they don't like something or they don't like somebody. And they'll say, oh, he's flow jacking. When in actuality, he could probably just be paying homage if, if he may find that Kendrick Lamar is one of his favorite artists. And so he wants to pay tribute. I've done it as an MC. I've taken words from K uh, KRS-One. I've taken words from some of the old schoolers like Double Trouble. Um, Crash Crew, especially Crash Crew. I used to bite off Crash Crew. All, I love that stuff. Crash Crew personified the South Bronx for me. And so did KRS-One. And so I would think on that level, most deaf, if you want to go clear that, most deaf, oh my God, the way he flips words, like I, I, wish, I, I wish I could do that. And paid homage in a sense where I'll take a line that one that they did to reference to that artist. And so it just happens, man. It just, and you see why I saved the stuff for the end, right? <laughs> it, it just, it, it happens. There's no harm in it. People need to just stop. It's, it's extra. You're being extra. Is no harm, no foul done. You know what I mean? And if the artist wants to, if that's their way of doing it, that's the way of doing it. They don't mind. None, it's, you can't please everybody. I tell people on this channel all the time when they flip on me about something. I'm sorry. Go to another channel. It's all good. It, you... My feelings will not be hurt if you do not like the channel and do not subscribe. I have people on my channel who have watched the channel for a year or more and didn't subscribe until after that because they wanted to be sure that what they were listening to was authentic. That's the words from them. I'm not saying that that I'm not saying I'm authentic or not authentic. It doesn't matter. I'm just knowing what I'm doing. But this is what people have said. Hey, I've watched the show for a year and I'm just subscribing because I like the way you do. You're consistent. Uh, I like the way you analyze stuff. And boom, you kind of keep a try to keep an open mind. This is <laughs> this has been said. I'd say at least three times, at least three times um, that I could remember. So. It's all good, man. I think people just need to let go. They like don't put your anger on the artist. Don't put your anger on it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you don't like it, don't listen to it. Or listen to it and say, okay, that's cool, but it's not me and move on. Like what the f you know what I'm saying? Oh, in any case, man. Y'all know what's going down. Subscribe, like, share, leave your comments below. Let's grow together, share knowledge, and build community. Until the next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Sucka, 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 socialize. Any spot getting plenty props, cause I'm weak, Cali, any hot till my body rides. It ain't running up, I spray them down like the body shop. Finger bangs just hit with four fingers like karate chop. I'm bragging more than you imagine to the non factors and sagging, cause we still getting spelling everything backwards. Sometimes I forget lines like gold plated actors, so I guzzle a 50 yak till I regurgitate.